Algebra 1, 12.6b, Word Problems of Inverse Variation. Okay, once again, I'm going to have this disclaimer in the front. If you haven't watched videos 12.5a, 12.5b, or 12.6a, because we're on 12.6b, see? You need to watch those first. If you understand direct and inverse variation, you're going to be okay. If you don't understand those, you need to go back and watch the intro to these topics in those three videos, and there's links in this video's description, so you can just click on them. Isn't that great? So we can use the equation of inverse variation to help us solve word problems. That y equals k divided by x. It can be solved to find k with one pair of x and y values. Then we can use the value for k to solve the word problem. So here's our first one. The time in days, that's going to be t in days, that is needed to build a house varies inversely as the number n of the people at work. So what it's saying is the amount of time it's going to take in days is directly affected by how many people are doing the job. If three people can build a house in 20 days, how long is it going to take eight people to build a house? So now I've got more people. So using that equation, that inverse variation of y equals k divided by x, we can plug in our values of t equals k divided by n. We first find our equation. We plug in these values. It takes 20 days for three people. We're going to use those given t and n values to find k. We multiply the 20 by the 3, that's the denominator of k, we get 60, and that tells us what k is. Now we can plug this in to our equation. We're going to use this k value in our equation. So we need to find for 8 people. So now we have t, the time, is going to equal the k value 60 divided by 8. 60 divided by 8 is 7.5, so it's going to take the 8 people 7.5 days. See? He needs help. The more people he has building the house, the faster the house is going to be done. It's inversely related. See how it affected it? So here's one about electricity. The current I in an electrical conductor varies inversely as the resistance R of the conductor. The current is 2 amperes when the resistance is 960 ohms. What's the current when the resistance is 540 ohms? So we're going to take the information that it gave us here, and we're going to use it to find k. We're going to plug in that value and find it for the 540. So our equation in this form is going to be i equals k divided by r. We found our equation. We're going to plug in our values. We've got 2 and 960. So 2 equals the k divided by 960. We multiply the 2 by the denominator 960. We get 1,920. We know that k equals 1,920. Now we can plug this in for our equation. We know that we're looking for the resistance as 540 ohms, so that is going to be down here underneath the k value. And that's what our current i is going to equal. We do our division. 540 goes into 1,920 three times. And after we simplify our math, we come up with 5 ninths. We can simplify the remainder until it gets down to 5 ninths as a fraction. We also could have just done long division, and I came up with approximately 3.23 amps. Okay? So just remember the equation that y equals k divided by x, and you're going to find the x and y values in a word problem. Just remember, it has to equal that y value. So if there's three hours for four painters to do a job, how many hours for six painters? Well, the y equals the 3, x equals the 4. So what would y equal if x was 6? We find that k value first, and then we can solve for that y value. All right? Our next video is 12.7a. We're going to talk about joint variation. And if you're confused about anything in this video, it's because you need to go into this video's description and click on the links that is going to help you because you must have gotten in over your head. So you can click on the links to watch 12.5a, 12.5b, and 12.6a, and that should help you about direct and inverse variation. And there's going to be other videos that will help you if you're lost. 
and telling you how to recognize functions, linear and quadratic functions, okay? So they'll all be in this description. It's one click away, all right? So we're going to move on to 12.7, and I'll see you there. Bye.